let me welcome you my dear students this is our eighth learning session of short fictional narratives with bs english third semester dear students let's discuss the outline that today we will discuss the introduction to kathleen mansfield and the title significance of a cup of tea plot analysis of a cup of tea setting its setting character of a cup of tea and literary elements and themes in a cup of tea so dear students let's start our discussion with the biography of the kathleen mansfield murray dear students kathleen mansfield murray was a new zealand writer essayist and journalist widely considered one of the most influential and important author of the modernist movement Kathleen was born on October 14, 1888 in Wellington, New Zealand into a middle class colonial family. Her father, Harold Beecham, became the chairman of the Bank of the New Zealand and eventually became knighted. She was the middle child of three sisters and one brother. Her first story was published when she was just 9 years old. Her works are celebrated across the world and have been published in 25 languages. Dear students, the Mansfield family moved from Thorndon to Kerori in 1893 where Mansfield would spend the happiest year of her childhood she later used her memories of this time as an inspiration for the prelude story so the prelude story is full up of or we can say is full of her childhood memory Her first published stories appeared in the High School Reporter and the Wellington Girls High School magazine in 1898 and 1899. She moved to London in 1903 where she attended Queen's College along with her two sisters. Mansfield recommended means she recommended playing these cello and occupation that she believed during her time at queens she would take up professionally but she also began contributing to the school newspaper with such a dedication to it that she eventually became editor during this period in 1908 she settled in london and in 1911 she met john Middleton Murray and marriage and they both married in 1918 in 1915 her mother Leslie died in World War 1 and in 1917 she diagnosed as tuberculosis in 1923 she died at Fontainebleau now we are going to discuss her works that her works are A German Pension and Other Stories, nineteen eleven. He uh, means he published Prelude in nineteen eighteen, Bliss and Other Stories in nineteen twenty, The Garden Party and Other Stories, nineteen twenty two, The Dove Nest and Other Stories in nineteen twenty three. something childish and other stories now in 1924 so it was about her famous works now we are going to discuss her writing style mansfield writing is characterized by having a third person narrator who can travel in and out of a character's mind she wrote about the character when she wrote about the character internal world and struggle and other focused on women the language of the characters is in harmony with their ages level of education description of detail is more atmosphere than plot her writing has blend of feeling and setting 
she uses of interior monologue and symbol and simile language linear prose style enhanced by a deep means a deeply poetic voice means she has used language that is linear prose uh, that is very comparative to a linear prose style enhanced by a deeply poetic voice so this was about the catherine mans catherine mansfield so now we are going to discuss her short story the name of that short story is a cup of tea so we can simply say that the a cup of tea is written by kathleen mansfield so my dear students let me discuss that a cup of tea is a short story written by new zealand's prominent short fiction writer and poet kathleen mansfield in 1922 This story was written on the 11th of January back in early 1922 which was first published in the famous story teller magazine and later appeared in Mansfield's short story collection The Dove's Nest A cup of tea connotes the holier than thou nature of upper class how they even would virtuous act for their own beneficial purpose by making themselves hypocritical pious to upgrade their social status and gain praise from society their true intentions are not assisting them rather manipulating them so it is about the rosemary who did the same thing while helping miss miss same uh, miss smith and uh, uh, her intention were not to help her but to boast her act of kindness in the society so this was about the title title significance of a cup of tea now we are going to discuss the plot analysis of the plot analysis of a cup of tea so let's discuss the exposition so the exposition of the story is when Rosemary goes shopping and the inciting incident is when Miss Smith the pretty girl Miss Smith approaches to Rosemary and now we are going to discuss the rising action the rising action of uh, a cup of tea is when Miss Smith asks for money to get a cup of tea so Rosemary takes Miss Smith back to her home so it was the rising action now we are going to discuss the climbing the climax that the climax of the story is when philip means the husband of the rosemary means philip tells rosemary how pretty miss smith is and rosemary gets jealous the falling action means the falling action of the story is when rosemary asks miss smith to leave the house while the resolution of the story is when miss smith has left rosemary reveals her insecurity in the last conversation with philip and resolves to her old lifestyle for example means being content with buying stuff rather than being altruistic so it was about the plot analysis of the story now we are going to discuss the characters of the story the first character is rosemary pell a socially poised rich married woman with a devoted and loving husband who has a great lifestyle she is well dressed and well off with all the luxuries she desires for her interest is mainly in reading books always indulged and above all greatly inspired by the characters and their adventurous lives which she comes across in the uh, stories so the next character is philip spell so my dear students philip is the husband of rosemary and he is in fact one of the richest person of the society he loves his life de- uh, devotedly and cares for her a lot he calls miss smith pretty much to his wife's 
char uh, means she is very charming uh, and just to make her send miss smith away as she refuses to do so when he asks her in the first place even the making his wife feel insecure about herself and her beauty so the next character is miss smith miss smith is a lean and thin poor girl of just the age of rosemary she cannot even afford a single cup of tea and comes to ask rosemary to pay her the price of a cup of tea she is an old person frightened and confused she is shocked when rosemary asks her to have a cup of tea with her at her home in mr philips point of view miss rosemary is a very attractive and pretty the next one is the shopkeeper the owner of a beautiful antique ornament shop which is in fact was means which in fact was one of the rosemary's favorite shop he would always be looking forward to having rosemary at his shop and always saving a lovely piece of art for her just like he had been saving the eyes catching blue velvet box he is kind of an ingrat means ingratiating character so this was about our today's lecture thank you so much allah hafiz